In my last video covering the brand new Dragon Ball game, I discussed how it's already facing major problems with the strength of green decks like Broly's and Gohan's. But if these two Saiyans are the problem, then we need to turn to the solution. That's gotta be racist. If the green deck excels with ramping up into the late game and out-resourcing any other opponent, the yellow leaders aim to end the game very early on, before the green decks can even really play. So here's the deck list I'm gonna be rocking with. The only catch is I'm a green player myself, so I'm kinda new to this whole thing. If you like Dragon Ball videos, make sure to leave a like and subscribe subscribe to the channel because there's a whole lot more coming up. All right, so let's see if I can actually get any of the cards I need before we go in. This is a complete waste of gems. I should not be doing this for this deck. And no red, so I'm already pretty sad. All right, do I just skip this? Why am I even opening this? Am I, am I just opening this because I'm again? We gotta skip. Oh, we actually got a Frieza, yeah! <laughs> a Frieza and a cooler. That actually wasn't a waste. All right, well now, hold on. I gotta improve the deck. <laughs> So here we are. We are going up against a green deck. Wait, no, that's not green. Never mind. I thought the color mattered. <laughs> it's going to be Cooler versus Goku. Ooh, he had that cool card art too. Now, is this a good opening hand? I would actually say that it's okay. I mean, I'm going to change it though because I don't have any draw power. I'm kind of looking for draw power, but again, I haven't really mastered this deck all too much. Uh, I mean, I'll take the double sorbet, right? Double sorbet seems pretty good. We're also going second. All right, real quick. I need to check if this is the Goku I'm thinking of. He's running the Super Saiyan Goku. This guy's actually pretty decent. Super Saiyan Goku's a pretty decent red deck. It gives him a lot of flexibility on both offense and defense. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna charge the Niaz. Charging Niaz, I think, is pretty safe here. We have two energy. I'm not really gonna... I'm not really gonna do all that. I could have maybe even played the Niaz, but that's, that's getting a little wild. We're gonna draw. We're gonna get the... Ooh. That's a little crispy. Speaking of crispy, the best thing to do with this deck is to strike as fast as possible as our leader does have critical, which means we're gonna take his life and instead of adding a card to his hand, it'll just go to the graveyard instead. So with 20,000, we want to swing on Goku as often and as many times as possible. And he lets it go through. So that's one card direct to the graveyard. What did he lose? He lost a two drop 18. So pretty good. We're not going to waste that extra energy in our hand. We're just going to go next. But yeah, with yellow decks like Cooler and Frieza, uh, you really want to strike fast. Pretty much any critical deck, honestly, any deck that isn't green, you want to go early. He's striking on me. To be honest, we don't have a lot of ways to draw cards. So we just let that go through. Uh, we do not care. I want to draw cards too. So getting hit is not that bad. And a four drop cooler. That is a nuts pickup. This card is really strong. One of the strongest in our deck. We'll get into more of why he's so strong when we actually play him. Whoa, what is this card art Goku? When attacking, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards with 10,000 less power and can't damn for free all right i mean hey go ahead and hit me bro i ain't even gonna lie though for a two drop that's a little insane charge phase we have some choices to make i think i'm gonna go with the ginyu though if i'm being honest yeah we'll charge ginyu here all right so we could go with uh sorbet but i think we actually take this our blocker because we get to add uh one of our life to our hand and he's also at twenty thousand power so we're probably gonna go with niez the blocker here we're gonna go with niez and then we get to add a life to our hand let's see what else we get so we have all three of these freezes that's a little crazy again though we're just gonna go ahead and swing on goku here with the crit and boom we'll take another crit hit he gets nothing for that and usually i wouldn't do this but i mean i am gonna swing on this twenty thousand power if he wants to save it he can i'm not gonna be too pressed yeah go ahead that's fine now we can't actually block with niez but again i'm not really too worried about that so we'll end our turn there and let our opponent do the talking wow we dropped a crazy hit off that crit this go on card very strong i'm glad we got rid of it when we did so we're almost we're one away from being able to awaken our cooler into going into his final form which gives us access to some crazy plays which is pretty much why i don't want to stop this although i think i kind of will stop this first attack right or do i not i mean what's the what's the downside of not stopping it we pretty much might as well right i'll use a sorbet i'll use a sorbet this might be crazy this this could be rather crazy because we're not really guarding any effective damage here and he gets his draw anyway but i want him to have to swing on me with this go Ooh, minus ten thousand battle sucks for that oh my god and then he gets to ko it oh saving it meant nothing man meant nothing all right we're gonna take another hit here go to four we draw another cooler wow we've got a lot of four drops here we're probably gonna charge one of these freezes here in a second we could flip and get the draw but i'm just gonna let it go through because he would still hit us anyway and now we get to have another swing with crit all right charge phase comes out i'm gonna immediately charge the the birder here he's not doing much now we technically have four energy 
I'm gonna go ahead and drop a cooler here. First things first, I may as well attack. For, I may as well swing for the crit. Swing for the crit. Why not? Let's get that health bar down a little bit. Let's get him to go through them resources. He's gonna defend the crit. He doesn't want to get hit. He doesn't want to get hit. All right, now we get to show off the strength of cooler though. Using our extra energy for going second, cooler is gonna come out. And I'm gonna swing on one of these guys, the, the level three, obviously, because cooler's extra effect. When attacking, I get to choose up to one of his battle cards, switch it to rest mode, and if it has a cost of two or less, destroy it. This one has two or less. Get crazy. Get rid of him. Get rid of him. He's dead. And now that one goes away as well. And now that my cooler's on rest, we're gonna use our ability. We flip, get a Jace, and final form cooler is finally here. Sadly, we didn't get to keep our crit forever, but we're just gonna have to power through this. We're gonna use our ability, have to discard a card here. And by doing that, we get to refresh our cooler. Now, I'm a little bit nervous because he could have some decent plays here, so I don't necessarily want to swing. I'd rather keep a blocker on board. So we're just gonna end it there. But Cooler also gets that destroy ability on block as well. So he has to play around that to be pretty safe. He's gonna draw, but he doesn't power up his card, so we're not gonna block that. No point. His attack does nothing to us. This is where I start to get a little nervous as a guy that's not good with this deck, though, because we really gotta power through and kill this guy, man. The more he builds up, the more he's gonna get out of our reach to be able to kill him. He used all his energy on something. A three drop time skip. What does that do? No way. You just get to blow it up for free. 35. Hold on. Can I read that again? Choose any number of your opponent's battle cards that add up to a total power of 35,000 or less and KO them. That is childish. Actually childish. I'm charging a Frieza. And I'm playing my goddamn cooler again. I don't care, bro. I'm playing my goddamn cooler again. If you got complaints, take it up with the judge. I'm attacking and then destroying this Roshi. Get him out. Get him out. Offense step, step end. Give me that free attack. Ugh. Yeah, how's that five feel? Look, I'm attack again. Oh, yeah, you gotta get... Oh, wow, we have all of our super combo cards. Boom, take another attack. I don't care. I don't care. And then I'm gonna use my skill. I'm gonna use my skill. I I'm gonna discard a... I'm gonna discard a Ginyu Force because we're not really playing the Ginyu Force engine all too well this duel. And this refresh my cooler. Refresh for the block. Refresh for the block. Refresh for the KO ability. It's still nervous, though. He has four health and we just don't have that many cards on deck. Oh, I'm nervous. I'm not good with this deck, man. I'm not good with this deck. All right, he does get to awaken. He goes Super Saiyan. I believe Super Saiyan has the power. Yeah. Choose up to one of your battle cards. It gets 5,000 for the turn. That's really scary. That's really not good for us. He uses one energy. So he's got a one drop. God come in. Dude, God come in is broken as hell. That is crazy. I should have played around. I should have went with Frieza. God damn it. I should have attacked with Cooler too. Ah, oh, red. God come at me. Ah, so good. I hate that card. Do we take the hit here? Yeah, we kind of have to. We kind of have to. It's too risky to, to do anything but take the hit. Oh, that's pretty good for our turn. Might end up being a tad bit of charge fodder here. Batamo can't be KO'd in battle. Uh, we have to take this one too. All right, we're on one HP. So this is, this is risky. We're probably not going to win this duel, man. Oh, God. Damn it. No, no. I can clutch up. I can clutch up. Um, yeah, now he's making me swing. I mean, he's making me defend, which is just kind of crazy. 5,000 power. Um, this gives us only 10,000, right? Bro, you're crate. You're, you're spending currency on this? Okay, so he's at 60,000. So, boom, 40. Boom, 60. And then just a little 5K on top, surely. All right, so we successfully defend Goku, although it did cost us a fair share of cards. We just need to find a way to do a decent bit of damage here. Charge phase. We probably end up just charging the... This is only on my turn. I'm probably going to charge the Supernova, as crazy as that sounds. It was either that or charge nothing at all. Let's attack just to make sure we... This card can't be KO'd in battle. Okay, so we really don't have any other option, but to hit Goku here. That gives us Niez, which is decent. Obviously, we don't combo it, though. Do we just get rid of the rest of these guys? It might be the move. We play our four drop Frieza, who's a 40k beat stick. Pretty impressive. We can't even KO him in battle, though. It's just risky, man. It's just risky. Batamo being here, Batamo's actually very scary. Wow, he levels that up. I mean, that's fine, because I can drop a card. I'm gonna drop, I'm gonna drop this, because it does nothing for us. We drop that, it does nothing for us. Refresh the freeze that we swing again. We're gonna need it to be able to defend two attacks successfully here. Two attacks. We've got uh, Niez for 10,000 combo power. This is the risky moment, though. This is risky. I mean, we're, we're, we're a little bit cooked, but if we can make it to next turn, we have a shot. If he has God Kamehameha, 
That sucks. If he has... He's got six energy. If he has the dual strike, that sucks. All right, so we have to defend that or we die. We can pop out the Niez or the Ginyu. It honestly doesn't matter. I'm going to use the Ginyu. Yeah, we don't need this. All right, Ginyu Force. Charge the energy. We'll live this. We only have so much energy in our hand, though, man. This is going to be close. If we win this, it's going to be close. I was a little too slow. If I would have attacked with Cooler earlier, instead of getting God Kamehameha, we would have been just fine. Defense step. Uh, this is where we just charge the Niez. Now, what does he have in his hand with six energy? Surely you don't just end here. He's got something. There's the critical Gohan, but he doesn't really do much other than that. Okay, he's going to 10,000 to Frieza, but just for the turn. He gets 5,000, put him at 30, but that's not really anything crazy. There's 10,000. So he's at 40,000, so we need to do a little bit... Mm. The hard part here is I, I really can't afford to get rid of this Frieza, right? But if he has a two drop that can kill, that would be crazy. Surely there's no two drop with 2,500 though. And he already uses his ability. So we're at 40 now. I think the play here, and this is scary. The play here is to use the super card combo. It's scary. This could be wrong. This could be wrong. We basically need to be able to win this next turn, which we just might be able to do. Maybe. Charge phase. We don't charge any of this. Uh, we phase end on that. First things first, we attack with cooler. We attack with cooler to get the draw and before he has any energy to use that's good we got an additional power up card at least well we're either gonna win or we're gonna lose here boys it's frieza time time to drop this four drop frieza and see if he can get through it he would need a super guard combo no surely he ain't have it he ain't got it like that <gasps> he, might, he really doesn't have it like that oh my god do we win Surely we actually win. Okay, we're going to discard the Raccoon. Refresh our Frieza. Swing for game. Combo the Jace. It's all up to this. Please. Please, bro. Tell me you brick. Tell me that hands a brick. 10K. Zero. Let's go. Let's go. And he steals the game. The comeback kid strikes again. Let's go. He didn't have any combo fodder in his hand. He overextended and we snipe a win. Woo. I told you if we were going to win, it was going to be close. But you saw the cooler ability come in clutch there. Obviously, you don't want to put yourself into those situations with this deck anyway. I'm just happy we got the win. Let's get into game two. God, this is where my addiction to card games come from, man. I'm, I'm, I'm on cloud nine right now. Who, we, who am I going up against next? A green Broly deck? Bro, I'm about to run this guy over. False confident hitting crazy right now. I'm, I'm changing this. That's way too many supernovas for my comfortability. Oh my God, that three Ginyu strike again. It's not... Oh, we're going second. So that's decent. We've, we've at least got that. Got a Niez as well. I, obviously, I would want a Sorbet. Some draw power would have been great. Maybe this is the universe telling me I should have kept the Frog Ginyu. I, I traded it away. I saw Frog Ginyu and Ginyu showed up three more times. All right, so he's got the Moa play. He's going to search for a Paragus here. And he does get the Paragus. That's unfortunate. At least we're going second. I feel like going second with this deck is even better because you really want that first attack. My turn. Nice. All right, let's charge it up. Ooh, not charging you. I guess we just charge a Ginyu, right? Like we've got three of them. Surely it's not that big of a deal. We could immediately go into a two drop. That seems a little crazy. Probably won't be doing that. And instead, I'll probably be going for just the... Uh... Wow, it sucks that I have to play Jace. <laughs> It sucks that Jace is my best opening move, but we'll play him all the same. We'll play a little Jace head here. All right, we'll take a crit. Let's see if we can get this crit. I think I want to swing with as many people as possible, right? I'm learning the deck, so I'm not sure if you'd rather keep Jace around to try to make up for, like, Frieza army. Like, we could do that, right? Like, if we wait, then we've got two cards with Frieza army, and then we can switch two of our energy back. But then what's the play there, right? Like, uh, it's not worth it. I think we swing with Jace. I think we swing with Jace, try to get a little more presence in the early game. This could be... This is... Could be wildly wrong though don't don't copy my strats here I, i'm feeling this one out i'm learning as we go on we swing with jace i'm feeling iffy about that decision but it is what it is up next we're playing niez for sure unless anything changes oh a level one raditz he might swing on jace and if that happens i think i just d d damn two raditz rat eye uh, yeah, we definitely can't defend Jace now. So if you want to kill Jace, be my get- Man, that's that's messed up that he could do that. I guess that would be the reason why you wouldn't want to swing, because then you can give him a free attack authority with that. So yeah, we're letting- he wants to boost that up? Bro, be my guess. You were, you, were, you were taking him anyway. I don't agree with the boost. I do see now that swing with Jace was an unadulterated mistake. It gave him a free attack. I'm honestly surprised he's giving me draw power with Raditz. I'll take that. Boom, give me that. Ooh, one drop. Nice. And we'll take this hit too. We want the draw. So I see now. Swing with Jace. That was bad. My turn though. We get a draw. We get a charge phase. I think at this point we just charge a Frieza. We're at three energy now, except we've really only got one. I'll tell you what I'm going to do though. I'm going to swing. I'm going to get that crit. You know me, man. I'm 
I always get that crit. Against a green deck, I'm swinging on your face until you until you stop me. Crit, that's going to the graveyard. What you drop? Ooh, a Paragus. An Altar Paragus, too. Nice. Well, it's Niaz time. Niaz is going to give me access to one card from my life, so it's kind of like a draw as long as you don't feel the pain. Ooh, and the, the dual strike golden Frieza. That's why we always charge to five. Does swing on a Raditz matter? We could block with this, but if we... I mean, if we don't, we're pretty much blocking a Raditz anyway, and then the Raditz doesn't die, so I think we just swing on the Raditz here. Uh, I, I don't know. Again, could be wrong on that one. My thought process was if we don't, we have to block the Raditz anyway, and then I'm going on rest, so whatever. Whatever, dude. It's, it is what it is. It is what it is. And now, a two-drop Nappa. Is he gonna swing on Niez with that? I'm okay with that. He might try to free low attack. No, he's just gonna swing with that. Alright, then I'm, per I'm perfectly fine with that. I'm perfectly fine with that. Now he probably swings with Raditz and Broly here, and we're just gonna say yes to both. Or do I say yes to both? Do I awaken? Because then I don't get my crit. And I think I, I think I want my crit. I think I want my crit. I think I'm gonna let this go through. You know what? You got it, man. You got it. You thought I would awaken defensively? Nah, nah, that ain't me. That ain't me. Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. if only you knew how little that means to me. You already know the play. I don't know what I, I guess I just charge again you we have so many of them so now we're at four energy thanks to that extra one immediately we play our four drop cooler why because this man is about to erase this guy's board do I want to swing on his face let me think no not yet because he would awaken so we're just going to clear a little bit of the board here so we're going to swing on uh, uh, spoilers I this shouldn't end up mattering because I'm, I'm swinging all the time but we'll swing on this for now this is going to trigger our effect meaning we immediately erase the blocker so Raditz, you're getting swung on by Cooler. I doubt he'll try to save this. If he does, that's better for us. Nope. No attempt to save, which is perfect. Right now, before we flip, we're going to get our crit attack off on the leader. Before we awaken, we will be awakening this turn, though. Boom! Laser eyes. Level four. Welcome to the show. And then, boom, flip ability time. And we get a four drop Frieza! That's huge! 40 attack power. Final form cooler. We're about to show the strength. Activate the skill ability. Discard one card. We're going to go with... If we drew a Raccoon, we could get a crazy play here. I'm going to get rid of the Niez. Is that crazy? Maybe. But I'm I'm leaving the option open that I might end up playing the... I don't know. I don't know. This is a debatable one. This could be the wrong move, but I will go ahead and get rid of Niez. That'll awaken our cooler again. And what are we going to do with cooler? We're going to swing on Broly one more time, which will allow us to get rid of Nappa as well. Nappa's gone. We're swinging on Broly to make it an even 3-3 three, three life game, only he's going to have four energy next turn. He's got four energy. Green does nothing with four energy. It does nothing with four energy. We're not afraid. He's got the Paragus, which is going to create a blocker. But again, cooler. Oh, a little bit of a crit here. Okay, but he can't really swing on our leader without powering it up i think he's cooked i think this duel is over we went too fast for him he spent too many cards i think the duel's over i think it might be an unwinnable position because next turn we win four or less he does get the awakening boost though so i think this will let him draw a card are we are we afraid though we've got three life we can tank two hits we have no super guard cards man that is a little unfortunate he's gonna have to spend some energy though you've got to spend you, you you might as well spend it all honestly if you hesitate i will spend my re there you go but that's still not going to be enough because I'm I'm coming at you with some goddamn cash. He's at 3,500 right now. Murder, you're out. So that puts us at 40, which means we're good to go, which means defend. Oh, no, he was at 40. Damn you, bro. I can't do math on the fly. You know, <laughs> no. Why doesn't the game do math for you? That will never not be stupid. Oh, <laughs> damn. Okay, well, now we've got to rethink our, our odds here. What do we charge? That sucks so bad. I think we stick to the plan. I think we charge another Ginyu. So now we're at four. We can do the four drop Frieza. We, can, we can't even attack with Cooler because he's that weak. And we can't get past the block. Okay, that's kind of... kind. Of, oh, wait. But if I rest him... No, that still does nothing. Oh, my God. That is so lame that I can't do that. You should be dead. You should be dead, bro. You're lucky that I actually lack a math. I lack the ability to do math. I'm so goddamn pissed. I am so pissed. It's crazy. It is crazy. I've got to attack and just boost stuff, right? I think that's the only play. The only play is that I should have attacked first to get the draw. I am so stupid. God, it was my anger. My anger blinded me. All right, we're just going to combo in. So we're at 30. You would have to use something there. 
It doesn't really matter, I guess. I don't know. 30. I imagine he blocks. Oh, uh, he just absorbs Paragus. I mean, that's fine too. Oh my god, I'm so pissed. I, I can't even describe to you guys how pissed I am right now. Please add the ability for the goddamn game to do math for you. It it's a computer game. It has the ability to do that. I think we all know it has the ability to do that. So now, basically, there's no point in me... Actually, hold on. Let me read. Do I attack just in case? I don't think there's really a reason, because then we just... Um, I have to discard a card. I'm going to discard. I'm giving up on the Ginyu engine. The Ginyu engine is so dead. So I'm getting ready to you. The Ginyu engine's dead here. Uh, refresh the Frieza. I don't think there's a point to swing, though. I don't think there's a point on swinging, because whatever. Whatever happens to Frieza is going to happen anyway, and he would just have one extra card. And we can, we're in a potential spot to win next. Ah, we could have been over and done with. He's got six energy now. Six energy is scary on green. And there it is. And there it is. And there's the six energy drop. Thankfully, it's just a normal Broly. Uh, he can't hurt me. I'm going to be fine. This is going to be fine. We're still going to win. Even though I'm pissed, I just got to calm down. I just got to calm down. I just got to relax. Uh, you hit me, bro. Hit, I don't care. I've got three life. I, you can hit me as much as you want. I'm not spending resources. Go ahead. Throw the beam in my face. Ow. Draw. And there's my sorbet. Where are my super guard cards? I'm losing it, bro. I'm losing it. I can't believe the math just mathed me right there. 40,000. GG's well played. This, this is, it has to be over, right? What does he have? All right, he scared me there a little bit, but we just take this hit. We just take the hit. We're, we're fine. We're going to be okay. We can finally calm down, you guys, because we made it. All right, we're going to charge the... Honestly, we're going to be using all of our energy here. Do I just go for a dual strike and try to end it? Like in one foul swoop? That's probably the ideal play. We're not going to have energy to supernova anyway, so I guess we charge... We'll charge this just in case. Again, it's it's, it's just, we should be fine. We're going to drop the dual strike just because I think it makes the most sense. Go for the game, and we'll just, we'll throw, I mean, he's perma-rested now, so that's not even a worry. 10,000, 5,000, 5,000. All right, what do you got for that? What do you got for that? Can you beat that? If you can, it's still not game over for me. I should be fine, but it is what it is. Also, we can definitely just refresh him with cooler anyway, so, you know, it's over. Dual strike victory, finally ours after a math mistake. It's gonna come a turn late, but I, I, it's hard not to be happy. The victory says it all shout out to the cooler deck actually going 2-0 in this video i thought i was gonna go 0-2 hopefully you guys enjoyed it i'm really enjoying this game i want to cover as many decks as possible and i definitely want to get out of silver so i'll be seeing you in the next one bye